Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make this scene inside the After Effects. It's a piece of cake, it's not that complicated, so yeah, let's go. First, we're gonna create a new composition, so Control N. Those right here are my settings, you can just copy them and just click OK. First, we're gonna need a character. I'm gonna use this one right here. I'm gonna decrease a little bit. And I'm gonna use this floor right here also. We're gonna create a new camera, so click right here new camera those right here are my settings okay okay just click right here on the 3d you can press s on the floor increase it yeah, but like right here and put this guy like right here i'm gonna also add uh speed lines and um, so control y to create a new solid just click ok animation apply animation preset and i'm gonna use this speed lines right here as you can see press you i'm gonna just bring those keyframes so like right here okay but this bit lines right here click on the 3d increase it holding shift press r and you can like change a little bit of the you can change like the color also i guess that's good i'm gonna put a deep glow okay that's pretty good i'm gonna uh, enter this composition right here and I'm gonna make some um, animations. First, I'm gonna get this arm right here. Press Y. Get this aircon point, but like right here. Press R. Press R. Click right here, but like right here. And I'm gonna put like something like right here. Okay. F9. I'm gonna get this arm right here. Press Y again, but like right here. I'm gonna just increase it. A little bit but behind all the layers and like right here again press r but like right here and f9 and i'm gonna do the same for the the head so but like right here press r like right here and but like like this okay f9 again click right here on the graph and just make a graph like this that's good and you can make new animations f9 and i'm gonna make a graph like this okay for me that's pretty good so control a control shift c Move multiple to new composition. Just uh, press OK. Um, press R again. Then like right here. And just make uh, this animation right here. Oh, don't forget. Press uh, Ctrl K. And increase a little bit right here. F9. And make the same graph. Okay, that's pretty good. Ctrl D on this layer right here. And get the X rotation press 90 degrees and by like two fields right here and you can change just the uh, but the drop shadow effect but you pass it on 100 click shadow only and you can increase the softness as you can see you have these borders right here and it's really easy to fix just press Q and just make a mask something like this press f and just increase the feeder and as you can see it's fixed i'm gonna just decrease the opacity okay yeah that's good create uh now we're gonna create a new new object uh, click right here on the 3d select this one holding shift this one and just get the speed clip and put like right here press p click right here then just put like right here okay and we're gonna uh, put like right here to make like this animation right here as you can see f9 and make something like this
and as you can see right here have this uh, light animation and it's really easy to make it and not everyone knows about this trick so please drop a like because it's game changer uh, and it is really easy to make it so I'm gonna duplicate this layer right here Control D and this layer right here are gonna uh, use and we're gonna use this layer as a back light so Control Shift C move all to to no composition and the name will be back light okay you can hide it okay and put like right here and I gonna duplicate this layer right here Control D but the create light wrap effect Th this plugin right here it's free okay so um yeah and i'm gonna put the backlight right here as you can see it's done and it's like it's it's beautiful right you can increase the exposure i'm gonna increase the background light also to make like the background the light a little bit more blurish i don't know how can i say that and yeah i'm gonna put like add and as you can see looks insane right you can increase also this right here but for me yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good i really like it okay now i'm gonna make the camera animation so press b holding shift press a holding shift press r I'm gonna first make some adjustments right here on the camera. Pressing C, as you can see, I have those tools right here. This is uh, the pen tool, this is the zoom tool, and this is the rotation tool. And it becomes more easiest to like make adjustments with them. So yeah, yeah, I mark those keyframes right here. And I'm gonna just make the animation. I can put uh, the motion tile effect right here because I have those borders. So press 2 to 2, 2 to 2, mirror edge, and put like right here. And okay. F9. Don't forget to save your project. So Control S. Okay, it's really important. We don't want to lose our project, right? And yeah, as you can see, it's perfect. I'm going to add an impact. So control V right here and all those plugins and everything I have on my address back. Okay, so yeah, you can check out below. And as you can see, give more life for our animation, right? Yeah, it looks so pretty. I like it. <laughs> and I'm gonna make uh, a second animation. So, create a new adjustment layer right here. Control Shift D, the latest one. And um, on the camera, but on the new, click on the 3D, press P, when Shift, press R. And I'm gonna uh, get, go some frames forward and increase just a little bit of the position make some adjustments too okay and on the like right here on the middle we're gonna create new keyframes just increase the zoom timeline right here you can just increase it and uh, like right here and just go one frame forward create new keyframes delete this two and make now the adjustments Go some frames forwards again. And I'm gonna make something like this. An F9. And just make this graph. As you can see, we'll make this animation right here. And you can use also a uh, one frame animation or a blur something like that will make a little bit better okay that's not too bad that's not too bad and 
creating a new chest malaria right here so new chest malaria and i'm gonna add a uh, lux and you can use like whatever preset you want and i don't know which preset i'm gonna choose i guess this one looks pretty cool Control d you can duplicate and add another lux this one looks cool but i guess this looks better when you can increase a little bit the strength also but for me that's that's actually pretty good and to make uh this animation right here it is really easy so and i'm gonna create a new solid above all those layers right here so Control y and i'm gonna use this color okay i'm gonna add the cc jaws increase a little bit of the completion decrease uh, to zero the height and change spikes to robot jaw okay press s holding shift press r and i'm gonna make a little bit of rotation increase pads 100 percent click right here press u and just put like right here again you can change the rotation to whatever one f9 make this graph right here press ctrl a click right here on the blur ctrl shift c move out to boost the position press ok and put the e fan post rise time and put like uh, i guess 20 looks good and as you can see it's looking like this i really like it and i hope you like it too so thank you so much drop a like and please check my test pack link on the description it's really worth it i promise